welcome to my channel, Project Witchcraft. Today I have three Halloween projects, things that I'm going to be decorating. They're not my best work. I did do all three of them in three hours and 20 minutes total. So today's video is very short and uh, let's get on to it. All right, so we got three Halloween projects today. Um, the first one is this broom. Well, I guess I should tell you what my costume is. I'm going to be a witch, but not just any witch. I want to be like an earthy witch. So I'm hoping to tie the broom and the hat in with my costume. But if neither of them work, I do have backup plans. Um, so, off camera, I, that black ribbon thing came with my hat, it was tied around my hat, and I was like, oh god, this is sh ugly on there. So I took it off, and I was planning on using it for the broom, but it just made it, like, the broom is too skinny to have all that bulkiness on there. So I had to take it off and incorporate it somewhere else. So right now I'm just going over it with, um, some leaves and tying them around. I wanted the bow on there so bad, so I tried to f tried to fit that black thing on there, but it's not working. So I find some generic ribbon, Google how to tie a ribbon, <laughs> try a few times myself, and yeah, I had to use Google, so. After finally learning how and uh, trying it out, uh, I get it. But it needs something else on it as well. It's a little too plain. So I go and grab my uh, Halloween wood cutouts. Quickly paint it white. And I'm like, ooh, what if I stick hot glue over this and it kind of looks like 3D? And then I messed up the glue and then I was like, ooh, what if it looks like a spider web? Ooh, and then it didn't turn out, so uh, I took all the glue off, and it kind of still looks a little white, but I was like, I'm not painting that again, so, yeah. Here I try to make, like, a handle and, like, a grip. But, um, I previously looked for handle holes on here, but I couldn't find them this time. So I make shift my own by gluing the ribbon all the way around and then gluing handles, one on each side. Uh, but I later do find the hole again, which is obviously right there, like I can see it now. I don't know how I missed it before, but I took the ribbon handle off and then I put string through the hole later. You have no idea how to make this, like, little, tiny, not full broom look half decent. It's, like, super hard. I just didn't know what to do. Like, I thought I had a good idea, but I don't know. I think it's going to be, end up being more of a decor item than me using it for my costume. But I haven't tried it out today, but uh, today is Friday, so I'm gonna try on all the pieces together at the end of this video after I'm done editing. BT dubs, I'm not sick, I just woke up. So I'm throwing on some acorns and then some webbing, trying to see how that looks. Make it sort of match with my theme and the idea. This is my first project, so I haven't done the other one yet. Uh, but we'll see how this goes and then yeah All right, and now that's done Just going to tie that little string. I said I had through the handle hole thing And then uh, we'll move on to Oh, sorry Then we'll move on to my candy bucket slash favor bucket. Um, all this stuff is from the dollar store, so I got that nice burlap purple thingy. 
from the dollar store. I'm going to wrap it around twice because I don't want to see the spiders. I thought this would be a better option than having to paint over the spiders and then having like random splotches of matte paint over top of it. So I'm going around twice with the burlap. It's kind of hard because it doesn't like stay straight. I'm not, I don't work with fabric a lot. So or like ribbon or whatever. I don't work with it a lot, so this is a little tough for me. But uh, it kind of, one the front part looks really nice. And it's a good thing it's the front part, because <laughs> if it all looked that terrible, wouldn't be using that either. So I'm putting that thing that was around my hat that I tried to use for the broom twice on the candy favor bucket thing. Um, but actually as I'm watching this, I have another idea for it. So hopefully I can take this off and then use it for another thing. Ooh, we'll see, we'll see. Haha. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right or not, but I do believe that that black thing is called tool. I'm not sure though. So these shapes I have um, painted the night before off camera with my little guy. That skull in the middle of the ribbon he painted. Um, I believe he painted the pink ghost and then the bat at the back too he painted. So I didn't really, he wanted to paint them with me so I didn't really want to show that part on camera. But uh, yeah, I did paint them the night before. Wow, this is going crazy fast. Moving on to my oversized witch hat. So I knew from the reviews that this hat was going to be big, but I was not expecting it to be like a Texas witch hat. So this is crazy. Um, I have previously decorated a witch hat like one or two Halloweens ago, and that turned it out pretty nice too it was just mostly ribbon like spider webs spiders and feathers so it turned out kind of decent um but i wanted i really wanted to stick with my earthy theme so i don't know what's going on with that fabric because it's not very like it has earthy stuff on it but yeah it doesn't matter you can't even see it anyway I probably should have checked to see where the back of the hat was because I ended up putting the seams and stuff at the front of the hat. Um, so I just put some leaves on there to fix that and now I'm going around the hat in like this vine stuff, this burlap vine stuff. Yeah. And if I wanted simple, I probably should have stopped at wrapping the burlap around the hat, but that's not... the that would be a stupid video and it wouldn't be totally unique. So, um, yeah, that's, the, I'm making a very unique earthy witch hat. So that's what's going on right now. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be unique. Okay. Yeah. I didn't like how the webs, I didn't like just having the webs on like the point of the witch hat. So I put it around everything. It's around everything. So maybe I would wake up after like 100 or 500 years and I'm covered in cobwebs, spider webs, earthy stuff. 
I'm just trying, I'm just like trying to make it cohesive now. Uh, so we'll see how that turns out. All right, so I guess that's it for today's video. I am going to try out that idea I had and then come back and edit again. And then uh, put everything together, take pictures of them all together for the thumbnail and whatnot. And then I'll do the beginning and the end and then be done. So there you have it. I didn't actually do the thing with the hat that I was planning to do. Um, that's just because something came up and I ran out of time. For Halloween, I will be wearing makeup and I will be putting like a cobweb veil in front. And uh, I will have cobwebs and leaves stuck to the cape robe thing as well. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, next week is a Create This Book 2 episode. And I can't show you the projects like I usually do because they're huge. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll call this done. Have a good day. Hey, okay, see you next week. Yeah.